What's up everybody, it's Skywarp here with Cruisers Gaming and today I want to talk about the probable leaked release date for the new Forza Motorsport and exactly why I believe it to be true. But before we get to it, if you would reach down, click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of the news coming out of the Forza camp. Want more news? Turn 10 announcements? Patch notes, shenanigans, and more can be found on the Cruisers Gaming Facebook group and in the Cruisers Discord. Links to both will be in the description down below. Let's get into this. At the Microsoft Xbox Series X event... <sighs> oh, that's a lot of X's. If we're gonna date, you may have to defeat my seven evil X's. You have seven evil X boyfriend? Seven evil X's, yes. On July 23rd, that was headlined by Halo Gameplay, a cinematic-only trailer was shown for the new Forza Motorsport. The only real information that could be interpreted from it, though, was that it was not going to be titled Forza Motorsport 8, and that Motorsport was going to include the Apollo race car, Bach Mono, and Mazda Sky Active IMSA prototype. Information left out, of course, was any kind of gameplay, physics, features, and content. Adding to the confusion was a statement that Forza Motorsport was in early development and not only was not billed as a release title for the new Xbox, but not even given a release date at all. Many websites and YouTubers alike then started saying that Motorsport was going to have a 2021 release despite no confirmation from Microsoft for Turn 10 about this. However, in a recent live stream interview with Chris Izaki, creative director for Turn 10, this was slipped into the closing comments. I love that phrasing, and I'm sure people will be uh, very pleased to hear that as well. Um, and you sort so. of touched on it a little bit earlier, but we are in a sort of new era with Xbox now. With sports are coming to Xbox Game Pass on day one. I mean, you're opening up the experience for, what? for so many brand new players who might have never even... But Skywarp, my articulate viewers cry out, she could have been talking about any Forza title from Forza Horizon 4 on back. Yeah... But if you go and watch the interview, and I will put a link to it down below, there were absolutely no mentions in the conversation of previous Forza titles. The entire focus of the conversation was the new Forza Motorsport going forward and going over all the details of which we already know, like 60 frames per second and ray tracing. Whatever the hell that is. Previous Forza titles were not a factor in this interview whatsoever. Now I know what y'all gotta be thinking, that the possible slip seems kinda thin, anorexic at best, so let me give you a few more pieces of the puzzle so you see the bigger picture. In September of 19, after a full two years of support, Turn 10 announced in a live stream that they were dropping support for FM7 to join the team already hard at work on the next Forza game. Fast forward to Mech's uh, final appearance in his live stream, Dan Greenwald himself came on it and told Mech that he had just came from playing a test of the next motorsport game on Maple Valley, meaning that there was a playable version of it in December of last year. Fast forward again when a small group of players were actually invited to the studio to play it in April, though it was called off and not for the reason that the game wasn't ready, but for, unfortunately, the pandemic. Developing games is expensive, to <laughs> understatingly put it. In the leading up to now, we have heard about everything from ray tracing to Forza Tech and the fact that not only they can scan cars faster, they can also scan racetracks much more quickly as well than they did in the past. These are all tools and developments that, while impressive, sound very costly. And considering the only way to fill that strained bank account from technical advancements such as these is a big game release. It's been since 2017 since Forza Motorsport had a new release and a big pay. Even a studio the size of Microsoft Studios has to be feeling the strain of what is the largest pay gap it has experienced up until now. 
let's face it, the whole teaser trailer reveal was a bit jarring for all of us, and arguably the most jarring was the fact that there was a lack of a release date. However, need I remind you that this is corporate America we're dealing with here. A lack of a release date could stem from any number of things that could affect the bottom dollar line when it comes to maybe licensing, misleading the competition, non-disclosure agreements, or other legalities. The points I bring up to support my case of it actually being a launch title may be few, but they are solid as they all come from turn 10 in some way, shape, or form, and at the end of the day, it's their word that matters. Since we are speculating though, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Are we going to see Forza Motorsport as a launch title, or do you think it will come in 2021, or maybe even later? I really want to hear what you guys have to say about it. Feel free to continue the conversation over on the Cruisers Gaming Facebook group, or on the Cruisers Discord. Did you like today's vid and want to support the channel? Head on over to the Cruisers Patreon and grab yourself a Vinyl Cruisers window sticker for your ride. Either way, I thank you for the support. Stay safe in the times that we are going through, my friends, and remember those friends, they're the family you get to choose. And that's got a whole new meaning this week. See you next week, fellow Cruisers.